And that was one of those moments that was a, uh, uh oh, I think we should, we need a better plan B, and we didn't have that. So, other cities, though, have gone that route. Some of you might be familiar with Mammoth Lakes. Let me tell you a quick story about Mammoth Lakes. Mammoth Lakes had a, has an airport. They got a developer to come in, and they told the developer, that, hey, if you really need it, you put in a hotel with all of the amenities near our airport. The developer signed a contract with the city. Everybody's happy. FAA comes in and says, hey, wait a minute. Um, we don't think that environmentally you did enough stuff for this hotel to be put in. Um, and we're going to withhold our funds that we're going to give you for the airport until you fix all of that. The city of Mammoth Lakes wanted the money from the feds because they wanted to fly big airplanes into their little airport to boost revenues for whatever they needed there in the city. Um, so they went back to the developer and said, developer, you know what? Uh, we're not sure we want to really have a hotel anymore, and we're not going to do this until we work everything out with the feds. The hotel guy who had signed a contract said, no, 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 no. You signed a contract. They, any of this sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> they were more cavalier than we were, and they went to trial, and they got murdered. $43 million judgment. The, uh, the, uh, the city is about a 19, I think it's a $19 million, uh, $19 million budget. Uh, you can read that, that's the quote. The judgment was upheld. Um, the town was trying to break an agreement it signed with the developer. So what happens when that happens? Well, the same thing that would have happened here, probably. They start looking for ways to cut. Does everybody remember the first slide I showed you where we spend our money, 63% of it on public safety? What do you think the fattest thing to cut is? Public safety. So what does Mammoth Lakes do? Well, they talk about getting rid of seven of their police officers. It's, a, it's, a, it's seven of their, I'm sorry, nine of their police officers, 17 total. So they're going to half their police force. Of course, the DA comes around and says, no, 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 that's a really bad idea. Uh, we're going to have, a, it's going to be terrible for the city. They're still mired in this. This is still going on right now. This is one of those, but for the grace of God, go us kind of scenarios. So all of this, I just want all of you to know the facts when people talk about, well, we should have gone bankrupt, or we would have wanted to try. No, that's, no, none of, it's, none of it is accurate, and it wasn't a good gamble. Okay, so now what are we talking about? EIRs, what's an EIR? An EIR is an informational document. I can see that I've uh, started to tread into the boring part of my speech. <laughs> this is important because we're gonna be talking about an EIR a lot, I want all of you to know what one is. It's an informational document. The EIR is just supposed to highlight all of the environmental impacts that the project will potentially have on our community. That's all it's supposed to do. When it's over, Oh, and it's going to do it in voluminous detail, subatomic detail. But when it's over, the city council is going to certify that it's complete. So you're going to hear people talking about, well, the city should reject the EIR. It should do that. That's just not how the process works. I'm going to talk about the process a little more in just a moment. But I want you all to know what an EIR is. Here's the process, and this is one of the documents that you have on your chair. Right now, we're here. We're at the beginning. And we're going to move through this process. There are only a couple of things I want to highlight. The first one is uh, that we're going to start scoping, which are going to be community-involved uh, discussions. So anybody who's interested can show up and start talking about what types of things we think are important for the EIR and the rest of it. You can see here there's going to be a draft EIR where you'll be able to weigh in publicly. There will be public commentary. We're going to do a health impact assessment. The city's going to hire a consultant to do those sorts of things so that we know what the health impacts are of the project potentially. And we're also going to do an economic assessment. Some of you may be aware that the oil company has already formed their economic assessment. The city is going to hire its own consultant because we think it's important to do so. It's going to evaluate the economic impacts as well. There will be a facilitated dialogue. And then you can see there'll be more, there's all kinds of opportunity for public comment and questions. But this is where we are right now. It's just getting started. I'd encourage you all to, to go onto the city's website and sign up for alerts uh, so you can stay involved and know what's happening as it's happening. Okay, last thing. A lot of people out there are angry that we're going to vote on this. And I understand that. But here's, here, here's, here's really just the end of it all. In my view, the question wasn't whether or not we had oil. The question was whether or not we had a city. You understand that? I mean, we were talking about disincorporation. All those